Greetings, friends of Moravian Music. We're here today to tell you about Gemein Cat, a project to bring a hidden music collection to 21st century light. I'm Nola Reed Knauss, director of the Moravian Music Foundation. I'm Gwyneth Michael, assistant director from the Bethlehem office. And I'm Barbara Strauss, the cataloging project manager. We're here in the vault of the Moravian Music Foundation's Winston-Salem headquarters. 250 years ago, the Moravian settlers in early America composed and collected an amazing body of music, sacred and secular, vocal and instrumental, comprising some 10,000 manuscripts and early music publications. Some early handwritten lists help us to know what was available in many of the collections at a given date. This is a page from the 1808 catalog of the Salem Congregation Collection, listing anthems in the collection whose titles begin with the letter E. Fifty years ago, brilliant scholars working with the Moravian Music Foundation created a state-of-the-art card catalog of this body of music. Over 50,000 hand-typed cards, many with musical and cheapets, hand-copied on each of the cards. That was created for the Winston-Salem office. The Bethlehem office has never had a complete copy of the card catalog, while the Winston-Salem office has cards for most of the Bethlehem, as well as the Winston-Salem holdings. And now, another group of top-notch scholars are bringing this information to light in a 21st century medium, the World Wide Web. We've called the project Gemeincat, a catalog of music of the Gemeinde. This isn't as easy as simply typing in the information that's on the cards. Online library cataloging has its own language, making it possible for us to find a piece by searching on the composer's name, the title, the text source, in fact, by almost all of the information on the original cards. Also, we're taking another look at each piece. Is the current 50-year-old cataloging complete? With the greater availability of information, can we identify pieces that have been unidentified for over 200 years? Can our manuscripts and printed editions link up with other rare copies someplace else in the world? In many cases, the answer is a resounding yes, we can. It may take hours of detective work, but we're adding to the world's knowledge of music not only music by Moravian composers, but also music of their contemporaries, some of which was thought to be lost. This is truly a game changer for the Moravian Music Foundation. Before Gemeincat, anyone who wanted to know what MMF had, had to come to the Winston-Salem office and look at the card catalog. With Gemeincat, this information is as close as your computer. As we brought some collections online already, we're receiving inquiries from around the world from musicians and scholars who can now find that MMF has these treasures, previously hidden from view. Such an undertaking is expensive. The generous bequest of Mrs. Louise Dieterle Nippert enabled us to kick off the project in late 2014, and we're plowing straight ahead, but we still need more money in order to complete it. We hope to complete the project by the end of 2017. We need to raise an additional $300,000 above and beyond what we have already received. This is a very special time in the life of the Moravian Music Foundation. Would you consider making a special gift to support Gemeincat? You'll have the satisfaction of knowing that your gift is making possible the most significant project in MMF's last 50 years, an undertaking that brings these previously hidden collections to the light of scholarship and musical performance around the world. Your gift is fully tax deductible, and we can receive your gift in a variety of ways. Online, through a transfer of stock, through a withdrawal from your IRA, by cash or check. Please contact Eric Salswedel in the Winston-Salem office for more information or for assistance. Before we sign off, we'd like to tell you a bit more about others who are working with us on this project. Serving as project cataloger is Dave Bloom. My first task here was to get the catalog of the research library online. That's completed now, and now I'm working on the Johannes Herbst collection, updating information about each piece, and actually finding some pieces that weren't in the collection. If you want to learn more, go to www.moraviamusic.org, look under Sounds and Visuals, and watch our lunch lectures, episode 21, Cataloging the Moravian Music Foundation, 
Episode 22, Fun Finds in the Uncatalogued, and Episode 30, More Fun Finds in the Vault. Thank you so very much for your support. We look forward to hearing from you and to sharing the results of this fantastic project with you and with the whole world. 